I like this quote by Jack LaLanne. Exercise is king. Nutrition is queen. Put them together and you've got a kingdom. Hi, I'm Mitch. And I'm Carlin. And today we're going to show you some of the stuff we eat. So you're going to follow us from breakfast, lunch, to supper. So you get a better idea of what we're putting into our body to fuel us every single day. Thank you to all of our returning subscribers and welcome to anybody new to our channel. Go ahead, make sure you subscribe, join the journey, like this video, and comment down below if you, you know, feel You're like welcome. it. <laughs> So we get asked quite a bit recently about what it is we're eating. So here is one of my favorite quick breakfasts that helps me keep me feeling full until about 11 in the morning or, or just before lunch. So I don't use any kind of fancy measuring um, right now. I just kind of, I did when I first started, but now I kind of know what it looks like. So I like to just have a few strawberries. This is my favorite um, and I just fill it up till it's about three quarters well that might be too much three quarters full and then I take usually unsweetened vanilla or sorry unsweetened almond milk um, unfortunately I just ran out I made the other one with that and so I have to use the vanilla almond milk that I get for the kids it's still pretty low calorie, less than 100. It's 90 calories per one cup. And I know that that's what it looks like to be about a cup of almond milk. Then I put in about a half a scoop of protein powder. This is my favorite to go with uh, the strawberries and almond milk. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Half a scoop. And I don't know what exactly this is. I got introduced to it with my nutritionist. All I know is that it makes my belly feel really good and it helps me feel full for a long time. And there's gotta be some sort of, oh yeah, it says zero fat, zero carbs, 27 grams of protein, 40 uh, mill milligrams of sodium. It's got potassium, calcium, and iron in it. And then just to finish it off and give it that extra sweet kick that I love, I use skinny syrups, zero calorie skinny syrups. And I just put a small splash, a little goes a long, whoa, that might be too much. A little goes a long ways. And that's it. And then I blend and enjoy. So that's the finished product and it is absolutely delicious, filling, and nutritious. One of my favorite breakfasts, even before we started this healthy nutrition challenge was uh, just eggs, but with the nutrition challenge, I uh, add veggies and stuff in it now. And today I'm having a, a spinach omelet. <laughs> Get rid of that one. Get some fresh lettuce. I mean spinach. I don't want lettuce in there. Get some fresh spinach. Yeah, so I'll just cook the spinach for a minute and then uh, about a half a cup of egg whites and then just throw a, a lid over top and let it cook for a while and that's, that's it. Some salt and pepper. I would just like to mention that we are not nutritionists. We are not certified in any health regard. We're just doing the best we can to take care of our own health on a day-to-day -day basis, using what tools we know, trying things out. We've tried lots of different things. This is working for us right now. Calorie deficit, 
exercise, eating super clean, and you know, just taking care of ourselves. I'm just about to make one of my favorites, a protein coffee, uh, get some nutrients, and uh, it just tastes delicious. I'm gonna need some almond milk. I love that skinny syrup. I'm gonna make a mocha. Got milk chocolate here. Man, and they taste like they're from Starbucks. This is my favorite skinny syrup. That's probably why there's barely any of it left. <laughs> it's so good. And there's zero calories. Zero, like they're just good for you. I don't know if they're good for you or not, but all I know is they taste delicious and there's zero calorie. All right, friends. So in order to have good eats, you gotta buy the right goods. So I'm heading off to the local grocery store to pick up uh, some of those healthy essentials like unsweetened almond milk, which we use every single day, pumpkin seeds, which just add incredible taste to all the salads that we eat. I need some Dijon mustard, more chicken, because this week we're going super clean. So get a good jump start on our summer weight loss by eating clean meats, fish and chicken. Um, eggs, you know, fruit, vegetables. So going to make that haul right now to set us up, ourselves up for success with our nutrition. So I picked up a few groceries. We eat on this and we lose weight, but it is not cheap. And there's a lot. Our fridge is always full, but it's all healthy stuff. All right, so I'm about to prep some chicken. Now, normally when we do our chicken prep, we'll cook the whole package uh, so that we have leftovers for quick salads with uh, good, clean protein in it. So I'm about to put the rub on the chicken. We will put it in the oven. I usually cook my chicken for 20 minutes. I set the oven to 450 degrees. And I find, yeah, just, just under 20 minutes, just around that 20 minute mark. And then I tent it at the end and it holds that moisture in the chicken breast. All right, so I have the rub on the chicken and it's pretty simple. Once you have the spices that you want on your chicken and I'm not gonna give you that recipe because everybody has different flavor buds. You pick what you like. I just recommend you stay away from that. Uh, just regular table salt, not good for us, so. If there is any salt, it would have been sea salt. And just pick the flavors you like. When I'm working full time right now, I'm on summer vacation, but when I'm working full time, it's really important that I do all of my prep on Sundays because that sets me up for success for the rest of the week. I don't have time to be cooking throughout the day every day. So I do rely on that meal prep to keep me on track and, you know, keep Mitch on track as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken in the oven for 20 minutes. And I will be having chicken with lunch today. I'll be having a large mixed greens salad with one of those chicken breasts chopped up onto or into that salad. So while our chicken cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and get that salad put together so we can just finish it with a topping of chicken. So we've been growing some garden lettuce. I'm gonna go ahead and collect some to use in our delicious salad for lunch today. When I cut it, I leave about an inch at the bottom and then it'll just keep growing back and we can have salad all summer. That's what I've cut. I still have tons left and I filled this huge bowl full of some leafy greens. All right, so I'm ready to make the salad. I will be having our fresh garden lettuce, mixed leafy greens. Uh, we have some red pepper, pumpkin seeds, cucumbers, alfalfa sprouts, uh, halved cherry tomatoes and then I have made my own 
honey infused vinegar dressing. So if you wanna make a infused dressing, a homemade salad dressing of your own, very tasty. It adds a lot of flavor to the salad, way better than store-bought salad dressings in my opinion. The ingredients I use is about a quarter cup of olive oil, I use two tablespoons of infused vinegar. So it is a little bit more expensive. I did have to go to the olive store. So here's one of those infused, infused vinegars. I actually used banana in this one, but I tucked it really far back in the shelf and couldn't reach it. So I'm showing you this one, it's blueberry. They come in all sorts of different flavors. Like I said, they are a little bit more expensive, but they are so delicious, these infused vinegars. And then I use one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a couple tablespoons of honey. Of course, it needs to be melted. And then seasoning, so usually some sea salt, sometimes some pepper. But you can really make it your own uh, for how you you like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this salad together. So obviously I've made Mitch's salad in a to-go container. He's at work right now. Oh man, have I mentioned I love summer vacation? Like I do all of this while I'm working full-time too, but it's so much easier when I have time during the day. Although I'm still keeping pretty busy. Anyways, uh, the salad is done. It's got the dressing on. One thing to know is Look at the size of it. It is huge. It is a huge salad. You have at least two cups of leafy greens before you add the extra vegetables. A full chicken breast. I feel quite satisfied at the end of this. I'm hungry right now, but I should be. So you've covered, you've seen our breakfast, now you've seen lunch, and here comes supper. I'll mention aside from the meals that I'm showing you today, we do have snacks throughout the day. Common snacks are celery and real peanut butter. Uh, we also will have tomato basil rice cakes with avocado on it. They're really yummy and they don't have that salt in it. We have lots of berries. I love fruit. So strawberries, blueberries, blackberries are my go-to fruits. And so we do snack throughout the day. We have two snacks, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Cucumbers are a common snack. Today I had berries, because fruit's my favorite. So I had berries for breakfast, berries for snack, and then I'll make sure I have a vegetable for snack this afternoon. All right, so for supper, I'm just heading out to get some fresh dill. We are going to be having some salmon, baked with dill and a lemon slice on top, as well as rice, and the kids chose green beans. So that will be for supper, and I'm gonna get it all together, and I'll show you a picture before we eat it all up. All right, so supper is ready, and if at the end of this I still feel a little bit hungry, I will just go ahead and have a small side salad. I hope you've enjoyed seeing our meals today. 